Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another hated video. Today's video is going to be a little gameplay on level 202 and I'm also going to be collecting the brand new hat from the farm pass season 17 which is the umbrella bowler hat. I'm going to dress up my animals and so much more. So let's get started with our gameplay. Okay, first I'm just going to send these visitors away because they always ask for the worst items ever. Oh, actually they're not really asking for that bad items today but I'm still not going to sell them. I literally do not sell them anything. I believe, except the visitor's bonus event, the farm visitors are totally useless. Okay, let's just harvest my crops. I've got some rice and my broccoli is still not ready. It's gonna take another 12 minutes. I've been suffering from the shortage of crops these days because I sent a lot of trucks. You guys know we had um the XP event a few days ago. I did a lot of trucks and I made a lot of products, so literally my silo just got really... So you can see um, I'm missing so many crops. Um, Alright, now I'm going to plan what I was looking at. Okay, I'm just going to go with some grapes over here because they're really important, you know. And I guess I'll just wait till my broccoli grows or maybe I can go with... Hmm, there are a lot of choices. I'm just kind of confused. It's currently midnight, so I'm not going to plant the watermelon right now. I'll do that later. I'm probably just going to go with some mushrooms, I guess. Yeah, I'll be able to harvest them in 20 minutes. Okay, that's great. I'm just going to come over here to my um, honeybees. And you guys can have a look at the design that I've created over here. I love this area. It's so natural. I'm not sure if this is natural, but I wanted to create a little spring area with Easter decorations and... Maybe a bunch of summer decorations as well. Alright, just gonna collect a bunch of dairy products. And I'm gonna put some cheese in there. So let's collect some honey and I can do more. Let me see what I'm missing over here. Oh, I need a lot of beeswax. Uh, or maybe I have beeswax on my baby farm. Not sure about that. So maybe I'll just put more honey. Usually I make honey... Uh, because the usage of honey is a lot more than the beeswax. I mean, you just use the beeswax to make candles, but honey gets used a lot. Literally every third product in the game needs honey. It's crazy. I wish there was like um, I wish there was like a beekeeper in the game that could run our our honey extractor and that could keep collecting the honeycombs. That would have been really helpful. All right, Greg's here, and oh, he's asking for the wheat. I'm sorry, Greg. Wheat is rare, or I could have given you. I hope you don't feel bad. Um, okay, wait, where's my jeweler? Oops, I need to put it back right here. All right, let's collect some bars that I've been making. So that's a lot of silver bars, and I'm going to make some jewelry items. Oops, I don't have any iron bracelet. Oh, that's crazy. That's not good. What do I do about it? Should I make it, or should I request it in the neighborhood? I don't know. Uh, I don't even have any iron bars, I guess. Yeah, I don't have any. Oh my gosh, that's insane. What do I do now? That's really insane. I'm gonna have to hire Tom. That's the only choice left right now. I can't do this. Okay, that's great. And what about my pets? All right, I'm just gonna wake up my donkeys. Let's just feed them carrots. Okay, I just got a skew. That's perfect. Um, now I have a lot of products to collect, so I'm just gonna quickly collect all the products. Let's make more sugar items. I'm so glad that I have all the slots open and I have two sugar mills because I literally I use sugar a lot in the game. So yeah, it's really helpful. Okay, we're just going to collect a lot of products. I've got some pies, juices, dresses. We've got some sweaters, barbecue products. We've got jams, sandwiches. All right, that's a lot of products. Okay, now I think I'm going to come to the main part, which is collecting the hat and talking about it. So this is a farm pass season 17. You guys can see there's only 10 days left. I've already completed it. And every farm pass brings a brand new hat for our animals. And this time, the hat was this beautiful blue colored umbrella baller hat, I guess. Yeah, it's, um, okay, there we go. I just collected it. It's so unique and it's so different. Like, it has such a cool vibe. I love it. So I'm going to collect it. And last year we actually had a bunny hat and this time we were having this. So the change is really drastic. Okay, now you can have a look at my animals. They're already wearing the hat from the previous uh, uh, St. Patrick Day's hat. So I'm just going to change it now. So I'm going to start from my chickens and I'm going to rate my animals. I'm going to see how they look this hat on.
All right, we're just gonna tap, tap, tap. There we go. All right, this is beautiful. It's actually really cool, but I think it would have been much better if this was added for the summer, you know, for June maybe, because the umbrella at the top is giving me a lot of beach vibes. So I'm not sure why they thought of this while adding it during the Easter, but this is cool nonetheless. It's not plain though, it's actually really unique. It's colorful, it's like blue is my favorite color, so it looks really pretty. Okay, that looks kind of cool. Um, I do like it. I'm gonna give it like eight out of ten, maybe. Uh, yeah, it's it's very unique. But when you zoom out, it doesn't look unique. But when you zoom in, then you can see the umbrella at the top. It's actually so cute. Let me just collect the chickens and see how it looks then when the chickens are hungry. Oh, I can't even see that. <laughs> Their head is literally laid back, so I can't even see anything. All right, just gonna come to the goats. Let's collect some goat milk. And we've got some feed. I'm going to feed them. And I'm just going to dress them up with a new hat as well. Uh, the hat that I was talking, yeah, this one we got last year. The bunny hat. This was so pretty. I loved it. But I love this year's hat too. I'm not, like, hating it. Uh, okay, there we go. Nice. That looks cool. Okay, let's do this. And I'm going to do the same with all these goats as well. All right, so let's look cool too, and give them eight out of 10 as well. Coming to my most favorite animals, let's see what happens here. Um, You know, the combination of the blue goes perfect with the white. So yeah, that's actually great. But this hat is really unique. This is what I love about this hat. It's so different from literally every other hat that we have in the game. We have so many same types of a certain hat, but this one is really different. So. That's the reason I love it. And plus it's blue. We've never had a blue hat before. Or have we? I don't know. Let me see. Um, yeah, we haven't. This is just perfect, you guys. Okay, this looks really nice on cows. And I'm just going to give them 7 out of 10. All right, coming to the pigs. We're just going to feed them. Not feed them. What am I saying? We have to dress them up as well. Okay, this is cool. I do like it. Let's do all of the pigs over here. Okay. And I'm going to do this over here as well. Wow. I mean, like, seriously, hat is not even that great of a feature or, like, an addition in the game. But, but it's still really cool to see your animals changing their hats every month. It's so, like, different from what we used to have back in the past. We used to have just, like, a bunch of uh, customizations. But that only used to come when there were summer, Halloween, or Christmas. So I'm so glad that now we have the feature to actually dress them up ourselves, but I hope that in the future we get something else than the hat, maybe, like shirts or, you know, uh, pajamas or something like that for the animals. I mean, what would be better for animals? Let me know what you guys think. Anything would be perfect. I mean, it doesn't really help you in the game in any way, obviously, but still, it's so cool to dress them up every month. And pigs look really nice to me, so I'm going to give them 8 out of 10 as well. And, oh my god, sheep look really pretty. Wow. Wow, this was great. Okay, and I'll definitely give sheep 9 out of 10. So chickens and sheep, they look amazing in this hat. And this hat is really unique, it's different. It's blue in color, which is just so pretty. Overall, my impression is that I'm satisfied with it, and I'm not hating it. It's really cool. Yeah, so I do like it. Okay, um... Let's just collect all my products now. That's a lot of products. I can't believe I haven't collected them since this morning. Wow, that's insane. Never let your machines stop. Apparently, mine are stopped. I know, just ignore them. Usually, I keep my machines running, but sometimes you never know what happens in life. All right, that was a lot of products. Okay, we're going to collect more. Uh, the good thing about my machines is that their slots are open so I can make a lot of products overnight. And even if I don't collect them for a while, they're still running. And as long as even a single product is being, uh, you know, in the slot is being produced, I'm still glad that nothing is being wasted. Like, you know, okay, let's just collect all these and we're going to make more rice noodles. Okay, that was perfect. So someone just revived my bushes. I'm just going to send them a bunch of thank you letters. All right, so I think I'm just going to end the video here. That was literally what I wanted to talk about in this video. Just wanted to do a bit of gameplay on level 202 and wanted to show you guys the brand new hat, which is the Umbrella Bower hat from Farm Pass Season 7.